Proverbs chapter 4, verse 26. Give careful thought to the paths for your feet and be steadfast in all your ways. Yeah, Book of Proverbs is like a father writing a son who's about to launch out into life. And, and he tells the son here in chapter 4 to be very intentional about how he lives. Now, other translations say it this way, ponder the path of your feet. And then in chapter 5, he contrasts that, this intentional living, uh, with a, a wayward, adulterous woman in, in which he says of that woman in, in chapter 5 and verse number 6, she gives no thought to the way of life. Her, her paths wander aimlessly with no thought. He contrasts in that moment the difference between pondering and, and wandering. And, and, and I think that contrast can assist us specifically whenever it comes to the issue of worry. Now, worry so often is, is this mental energy in, in which we are attempting to figure out how to do something, figure out what decision to make, and, and yet we're doing so in an unproductive way. And, and so instead, Proverbs chapter 4 gives us insight. Rather than worrying about something, it gives us the image here in verse number 26 of, of weighing something. Imagine it's 150 years ago, you're in now the town that I live up in Auburn, California. You're on the American River, you're panning for gold, and you find gold. The question that you have in that very moment is, how much is this worth? Is this worth a week's salary? Is this worth a year? Am I now going to disappear with my wife and never tell her family where I am because that's how wealthy I am? That's the question. How much is it worth? Would how, how would you determine the value of that? You would go into the bank and the bank would have these scales and you would place the, the unknown quantity in one side of the scale and, and it would go this way and, and then the banker would turn to these known quantities of weights and they would take a weight out and, until the two begin to balance out. And, and once the two begin to balance out, you would then know the value of this unknown quantity. Whenever it comes to making decisions, whenever we're trying to figure out the value of something that we may not know the value of, uh, the way we determine is this the right move or not is not to worry about it, but to weigh it, to compare it to those things that have been time-tested, that have been proven out. Uh, scripture knows about this. Paul's going to Tell the church at Philippi if it's good, if it's noble, if it's right. Uh, we have the, the idea of how God has revealed himself, the cosmic plan he has for this world, the things that we are actually supposed to value. Those are the time-tested qualities. And we take those and we compare it to the decision that we have before us. And we see, do they balance out? Is this decision, is it good? Is it noble? Is it right? Does it match up with the character of a follower of Jesus? Does it align with God's sovereign plan of this world, of, of who he has created me to be? And we go through the intentional effort of weighing that out and then making a decision and moving forward. And yet so often what I do, rather than weighing a decision, is I worry about it. And by worrying about it, instead of looking at that thing that, that I actually control, what's mine, I tend to begin to fixate on what belongs either to other people or, or actually belongs to God. And I begin to say, okay, God, show me the future. If I make this decision, is it going to turn out well for me? If it's a career move, am I going to be successful? Am I going to make money? If it's a family decision, are my kids going to be okay? Is my marriage going to be okay? And I want God now to show me what the future actually is. Or I begin to fixate on what belongs to other people, what they actually control. What's the opinions of others going to be on me if I, if I make this choice in that moment? And worry tends to me be me swaying and swerving out of my life into what other people control or what God controls. Whereas weighing is me now controlling what is solely mine. And the difficult thing about weighing and worrying is they both feel the same. It's a taxation of our own energies and efforts. But the differences couldn't be bigger. Worrying leaves us in the exact same spot. It's like a treadmill. And day after day after day, we are no closer to making a decision. Whereas weighing will push us forward to understand, is this the right move or not the right move? As the father is talking to the son, launching him out into the world, he's basically saying, hey, there's going to be a lot of things to worry about. Don't worry about them. Weigh them out. And in doing so, as you control what actually belongs to you, you can stay in your lane, which will cause you to love more, worry less, and get things done.